It is the last day of school ever. Oh my gosh. It's the last day of school ever. Do you hear the train? The test school is the train. <laughs> what is that sound? Um, <laughs> it's from Finding Nemo. And they're like, the sun is shining, the tank is clean. <gasps> the tank is clean. That is me right now. It's like, oh my gosh, this is the last day of school. So let me just start off by saying my senior bar crawl was last night. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where you go to like a series of bars in like your college town with like your senior class or whatever. And you go back to like all the bars and stuff that you went to like throughout your four years and you get like a specific drink or shot at these bars. It started at 3 p.m. <laughs> and lasted until like 10 p.m. I have some liquid IV right here. I'm trying to get through the day. I'm praying that this rejuvenates me. But it was so much fun. I got to see a lot of my friends there. I'm going to put like a few clips over so you can see like kind of the fun that was happening. It was just so, so long and it was so tiring. Literally, I wanted to crawl out at the end. But I realized in the middle of my bar crawl that my class today got canceled. My only class to make this the last day of class, like in-person class, got canceled. I was so upset at the bar. I was like, are you kidding me? Like the one time I actually want to go to class and it gets canceled. So what we're doing instead is I do have... Have a lot of homework to get done since finals is next week. I will be vlogging like my whole entire finals week, but we are going to go on campus and I'm going to show you my favorite spots that I have loved for the past four years. Like, I just feel like we need to like do like a little sentimental walk or something like on campus. Like we can't have this be like a last day of school vlog and not go on campus, right? I'm going to figure out something to do on campus. So come along for my makeshift last ever day of school. First things first though is I need coffee and um, to finish this liquid ID. If you wanted to know what my senior superlative was, it was most likely to wear pink to any function. And I did wear this pink boa, so they were correct. I mean, this is so sad. I so wish that this class did not get canceled. It's also raining, so I guess I'm like not that mad about like, you know, having to force myself to go out in the rain, but. I do have on pajama shorts. They're just like really short. I'm not just like wearing like this oversized thing. Well, I guess I could because it is my house. But anyways, I'm going to be grabbing my smiley mug because I need all the smiles and happinesses for today. Anyways. <sighs> so much that's going on right now. I like literally am not awake right now. It is currently 10 a.m. I should be awake. I think what I'm going to do though is like go back. Hello? Is like go back to maybe like my friend. Why do you sound like that? Oh, okay. What I think I'm going to do is go back to like my freshman year dorm. Like we should drive there or like walk there. Obviously we'll go to Pi Fi. Show you like my little sorority house. I feel like I need to walk in where my first class ever was. That would be fun. Um, where else should we go? There's just so many options. What was that? Oh my God, I, what is going on? What is happening? Also Mercury is hella in retrograde right now. And I'm like, <laughs> Mercury bestie. I'm also making myself some grits. I don't really even know what grits are. I've had this discussion so often. I feel like it's definitely more of like a Southern thing, but I can't. Like, is it like a grain? Alexa, what are grits? Grits are a type of porridge made from boiled cornmeal. Hominy grits are a type of grits made from hominy. Corn that has been treated with an alkali in a process called mixtamerization, with the pear cup removed. Grits are often served with flavorings as a breakfast dish. Grits can be savory or sweet, with savory seasonings being more common. Alexa, that's enough. I've learned. I've seen what I've needed to see. Okay, so basically, um, I am like on Little House on the Prairie and I'm eating porridge this morning. If you wanted to know. I'm about to take a poll. Comment down below if you've ever tried grits. It de I feel like it's definitely like a Southern thing. It has to be. I ate this so often as a kid. I need a measuring cup for my water. I now have my porridge. We are going to go ahead and look through our computer and make a list of things that we need to get done and the assignments that we need to get done today so I know how to plan out my day accordingly after um, I eat these grits. How we started Alright, 
wrote everything down. I don't have a lot to do at all, which is absolutely amazing. I really thought I had a couple more assignments due and I didn't. So went ahead and did anything that I could and the rest basically, I think I have like one-ish assignment due tonight that I need to get done, but everything else is just final exams, which is insane. So we're going to be doing that a little bit later on, but I went ahead and preheated my oven to put some pizza rolls in the oven to eat some lunch before we go to campus since I don't have to be on campus at any certain time. I went ahead and also changed into like this little runzy thing. I think I wore the black version of this for my first day of senior year. So it just seems fitting to wear the pink version for my last day. I also recurled pieces of my hair because it was looking kind of wonky from last night. Since it's my last day, I want to like film some TikToks and just like really just enjoy the day. So I just decided to put on a little bit of makeup. So I need to go ahead and go to my mirror and do that. But then we're going to be heading off to campus and we're just going to be walking around just hanging out. I'm so upset that I had my last day of school and I didn't even know it. This is your reminder to take every day as if it's your last day of school. <laughs> Y'all know I have been thriving on my pizza rolls lately. Also filmed a full get ready with me on TikTok for my last day. So let's eat these pizza rolls and head out the door. No, because it's the way I'm literally about to bring this tripod and film a TikTok in PiFi. I need to make sure I have my AirPods though because it's quiet hours this week since it's dead week. Like the house is like a study place for girls and it's just like polite to be quiet. So they have like those secret hours. Secret hours? Five hours, got my AirPods. Okay, this literally like expands into like a full tripod. Oh, well at least it landed in there. So that's good. I'm also gonna bring this light just in case. I don't know. Okay, Um, this, is there anything else I need? I don't think so. Also, I'm going to the Taylor Swift Eras tour this weekend. I'm so excited. So I've just been packing right here, my bag for everything. I didn't even grab my shoes. Okay, <laughs> I got them. I'm going to be vlogging the whole day. Like I was getting ready and all that stuff, but I'm also gonna be posting like on TikTok and Instagram too. The vlog will be up on Thursday. Oh, by the way, I have a new upload schedule if you're watching this. My new upload schedule is back to Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. I did have to change it for this past semester because it just made sense with my classes, but we're back to the Tuesdays and Thursdays. So anywho, you're watching this video on Tuesday. That means that Taylor Swift vlog is coming to you on Thursday, which will be really, really fun. I am dressing up as the lover era and Will is going to be dressing up as the heartbreak prince. And I think it's gonna be really cute he's been so supportive and he's like I'll just wear whatever you tell me to like he is completely ready for me to be like feral at this concert like weeping crying throwing up everything is about to be happening but let's not get too ahead of ourselves let's finish our last day on campus this is kind of sad like I'm gonna try not to cry but I think when, when I'll cry is like my graduation day I'm vlogging my full graduation day also I've been getting a lot of questions oh big girl Y'all be acting like I ain't gonna vlog it. You know I am. You know I am. Okay, let's head on to campus. I somehow finessed a reservation at my favorite restaurant for graduation. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I love Forte. It's like in downtown and it's so yummy. They have like, they're kind of expensive, but they're so worth the money. And it's like a really nice restaurant. Obviously like you would want to go for graduation. So I DM'd them cause I couldn't figure out how to make a reservation online. They're like, yeah, no, we're, we're full. I was like, can I just be put on a wait list? They're like, yeah, we'll put you on the wait list. We'll let you know if anything else happens. I get a DM the next day. They're like, we were able to fit you in. I was like, say less, say less. So I'm going to be eating a really yummy dinner. Okay, first things first is I think we're going to go to Pi Fi, my sorority house, and do the TikToks I want to do there. Y'all, I'm going to make a mockery and a fool of myself. Because I know that it's warm today, and once I start walking around, I'm gonna be starting to get sweaty. I really don't wanna deal with that. Oh my gosh, also, we need to stop and get a Red Bull drink. If you are in Tuscaloosa, hold on, pause, also. If you wanna know my favorite places in Tuscaloosa, I actually just made a blog post about that. It has all of my favorite shops, places to go, things to do, like, so many things. Anyways, one of the things on there is Strange Brew Coffee shop or something i don't know the like exact name of it it's on the strip on campus or like right next to the campus like we're passing it literally right now they have the most yummiest gummy bear energy red bull drink ever and i really want to go get one after we're done being on campus wait i'm literally about to like sob oh i can't do it i can't do it oh is this a college tour that's one thing i will not miss having people tour the college i don't know why that just gives me such a big ick like <laughs> I don't know. There is like nobody in this parking garage compared to what it normally is. This place is slammed. 
but today it's kind of not. There was someone pulling out like right at the entrance, so we're going to go back up and get that. Also, I just posted my TikTok about like getting ready for the last day and someone figured out that I was wearing the same outfit just in a different color for the last day and they're like, I, I see that. I was like, okay, girl. Okay, we're parking for one of the last times. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everything for my grad tea is still in the back of my car. That just poked me in my elbow. Oh, okay, we're gonna be putting my keys. My keys in here. And off we go, friends. There's a squirrel across the street. That means it's gonna be a good day. That literally is how I base my days on if I see a squirrel. And they are abundant here, which is good. But this is the first building I ever had a class in. Like my first ever class here at the university it was in this building, Doster Hall. It's very windy still out here. Sorority Row, where we also know this brings back so many memories, um, opened my bid in Bryant Denny, Pi Fi, walked the streets of the row. Let me know if you want like a row tour sorority road tour. I'll do it. They're doing construction right here as per usual in a college town. I don't know what they're building but they're always building something. Like we always have to have something else. And now we're passing Alpha Chi. Pi Phi is this way. Literally like the first thing I did when coming on campus was rush. So it felt right just to go to. Well I guess I moved into my dorm first. Okay scratch what I just said. It was moving into my dorm and then rushing Pi Fi, but I can't speak when I'm in there. Remember, it's quiet hours. So sad. 
Okay, so we're piecing out of Pi Fi. The sun is not our friend right now. It was so quiet in there and I was literally being the most extra I think I possibly have ever been. It's always so scary filming in there because there's always so many people. And if I say that I'm not scared of getting judged, I'm lying <laughs> because I feel like I'm just walking around with the camera on campus right now. Like that's probably one of the most like asked questions I get is like, how do you just like film out in public. Girl, I just have to do it. I just have to act like I'm an international superstar and this is just the norm for me. I don't really know. Anyway, so this is um, the row. We are now going to start walking to the quad because normally I see squirrels there and I really like seeing squirrels. So um, let's go there. This is Katie. I loved them during rush, but they dropped me. T. There's a couple for prom over there getting their picture taken. Okay, so we are on the quad. I used to take this little sidewalk all the way back to my dorm. Then, before I knew I was coming to Alabama, I was tailgating with my friend Dakota, and I wanted to be in college so bad, because y'all know I'm a non-traditional student. Like, I started at 21, which is a big deal when you go to like an SEC college, and like you rush and you do like all the freshman things. Anyways, I remember sitting, or like standing right there during a tailgate, and I saw all these college students around me. Obviously, I was not a Bama student. This was, I think like six months before I knew I was able to come to college, like for real, for real. Anyways, I remember sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be here so bad. I wish I had their life. I was quite envious and I coveted them a lot, but I was like, oh my God. Like, I just remember wanting to be here so bad. So it's like a full circle moment being like back at this area. Anyways, I don't really know where we're walking. I guess we'll walk, <gasps> you know what? We will walk to where my one of my least favorite classes was. Let's do that. Okay, before I tell you my least favorite class, I want you to guess what it is. You have three seconds. One, two, three. It was my ceramics class. Who would have thought, right? I actually hated that class. It was actually atrocious. Least favorite class I've ever done here at the University of Alabama. Um, and it was literally in the most random building. I really don't even think it's a building building. They just kind of like made do with what they had to be honest. But anywho, that's the building over there. I'm not walking that close to it because um, for numerous reasons, but I will show you the building that it is. See that building? That's the building. That's it. I kind of want to set up real quick and get like a fun, like cute little picture. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be cute. Do I do like a, we'll do um, set a timer. I have to document the last class. There's so many people walking out here. Okay, we're gonna set a timer for 10 seconds. I don't know how this is gonna look. Why do I look like that? Okay, hold on, let me try it again. Okay, let's see that. Oh, that one's actually kinda cutie, okay. I mean, you're like my little tripod right here. Mm, that ain't cute. I'm like sweating bullets right now. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Hello. I didn't know what I was posing like right there. This, that looks like a first day of kindergarten picture. Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay, now we have option. Oh, I don't even think it took. Oh no, it did. Okay, also there's a squirrel right here. I'm gonna let you know, there's a squirrel. I don't know if you see him, but he's perched up right there and he's adorable. Hey squirrel. Hey buddy. So since I rushed a sorority here, like you don't have to eat at the dining place. What is that called? A dining hall? Because here's the bus. Because you pay for food through your sorority dues. So anyways, I did eat there one time. It's called like fresh foods, fresh meals, something. I don't know. Anyways, I ate there and I ate catfish for the first time. And um, actually I didn't end up eating it because it was super duper gross. Here is the engineering quad. Here is where I would be walking through to get to my class today. If it didn't get canceled, it's fine. Okay, we're making the trek and we are going to my freshman year dorm. You know, I've never noticed this building until now, but it's kind of cute. I kind of like her. Okay, so fun fact about this spot right here. Right before we got sent home for COVID, I modeled or like I like auditioned to go be a model for a like bridal company and it was like on campus and I walked this road. I got casted in it but then COVID hit so I didn't even get to do it. But I only went this way like that one time and th but there's a bridge right here that I wanted to show you because I don't know if I've ever shown you this bridge but like we're like now getting into like freshman territory. Like I should not be over here right now like in the slightest but you know what? We're going. 
Okay, so the bridge is right there, but it has like an Alabama A on it. I don't know why people don't take like grad picks in front of it. I feel like a lot of colleges have like bridges like that. Okay, so this is the bridge, right? And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Hold on, I'm scared of heights. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, no, you really can't. There's an Alabama A on that side. I don't think on that side. I think only on that side, but we're walking <laughs> through campus right now. I also think there's someone behind me. I don't know if there is. I did that acting like I could see. They definitely can see me better if they are. Anyways, I think Caroline's freshman door. <gasps> Wait, this is it. Okay, right down there. I just got so dizzy. Right down there is where I gave Caroline her big little gifts. When we are big little. There is someone behind me, by the way. I see them. Okay. Actually, no. I do remember going down these stairs. I do, freshman year. Okay, so what would happen when I would be running late for my 8 a.m. class? Never take 8 a.m.s. Take it from me. Never take 8 a.m.s. I would be sprinting to my 8 a.m. class and I would be like falling up these stairs trying to go there. Anyways, we're almost to my freshman dorm. I mean, it's a hike. It's like a 40 minute walk from like civilization. I would always come through this way after rush to get back. And I don't know if you can see, but slightly over there. That's my freshman year dorm. Okay, but wait, why is this literally the most emotional part of everything that I've done today? I don't care what anyone else says. I liked the dorms here. I like living in my dorm. Everyone is moving out and it's so sad, but I lived in Prez 1 and we're revisiting, saying hey. That is so sad. Oh my gosh, I lived on the first floor and it was like right over there and it was so much fun. I don't know, I loved being over here and I thought it was a lot of fun, but I am getting like stared down by freshmen right now. So I feel very um, uncomfy. So let's head back somewhere else. I'm not too sure where else we can go. Oh, I know where else we're going. Funny story to the next place we're going. So Rachel and I lived in that building and Marie lived in another dorm. She lived like I'm taking you to her dorm. Anyways, there was a fried chicken place. Anyways, there was a fried chicken place next to her dorm and we would always eat there. This is me live action getting judged right now. You're welcome, I'm bringing you for this. Anyways, there's this fried chicken place that we would always go to like after we had a date party or like a swap at like one in the morning. So we're going there right now. I'm sorry, I wanted to let you know what this frat boy just said behind me to his other frat boy. I don't know, I just don't get attached to women easily. Good to know, thank you for telling me that. Okay, heading to the chicken place. Okay, so this was Marie's dorm and then that was the chicken place right there. And let me tell you what happened on the ledge right here. So Marie and I, after one night, we were literally sitting on this ledge next to the chicken place right here. And I realized that Will was in love with me and I had been dating him for like six months and had no idea. Fun fact, that happened freshman year in like the end of August, I think. And right here is where we'd always meet her if we were going to the house for dinner because Pi Fi obviously is that way. There's the chicken place. Okay, so that was our little tour-ish. That really wasn't a tour, it was just like memory lane. Maybe I should do like a full memory lane video. If you want that, let me know and I can do it before I move. It'll be after I graduate because next week is graduation and I'm like, dude, if you are a senior or like if you're about to be a senior in college, what I would say is like literally don't plan anything for the last two weeks of school. Like don't go out of town, don't plan any trips, like fully just enjoy your time because, well, I mean, I wasn't going to cancel on Miss Swift, but like I have Taylor Swift this coming weekend and then the weekend before was my graduation tea. So my past like two last weekends of college, I haven't been here and I wish I was because I like wanted to like hang out with my friends for like the last time. But now we're heading back to the car. I'm sweating like a center in church right now. We're taking the scenic route, y'all know. I just discovered this like a couple weeks ago and I love going past here with the little pond. Well, let's head back to the car and stop by Strange Brew to get a drink because I'm like parched. So in that building right there, I had the hardest history class I've ever had in my life. It was literally so hard and it was right when COVID hit. Like it was my freshman year, COVID hit. And like when we got sent home for the classes you were already enrolled in, you either had to like pass or fail it. And you had to make like, I don't know, like it didn't affect on your like transcript because it was like COVID and like that's what they were doing to like kind of make it easier on people, I guess. I don't know, y'all, I'm out of shape. I'm like, I can't even breathe right now. I need to get like start doing more daily walks. Anyways, you had to have like a 60 to pass it. Thank God it was the pass or fail one. Cause you know, I barely made that 60 in that history class. It was so hard. Now look, before y'all go run with that, I'm a good student. I've gotten good grades, but there's just a couple classes like history and math. 
we do not vibe. This air feels so good right now. I don't even know the temperature outside, but good golly, Miss Molly, it's hot. And my fake eyelash is like poking me in the eye. Okay, now we're going to Strange Brew because I need something to drink. Something to drink. I've never tried their coffee or anything, but I'm like not in the mood for coffee. I am in the mood for a Red Bull. I mean, that just took so much out of me. Why was that so hard? Oh. There's also so many people taking their graduation photos, and I'm like, how? Oh, how are you doing that right now? It is so warm. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was taking my first round of graduation pictures with my pink cap and gown, it was humid. Like, my hair fell so fast. If you watch that vlog, you'd know. My hair was really curly right before I left, and then when we went to go take pictures, it was like, what happened? Also, my tummy hurts. <laughs> I started my period today, and I'm like, I'm gonna laugh, but I know caffeine isn't good for it, but it just sounds so good and I'm just willing to risk it right now to go get this drink. I've had to turn my car around about three times and I don't know why it is like slammed with people right now on this strip and like right next to campus. I don't know if it's just because like it's a Friday night. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just gonna be parking in the public's parking lot and then we're just gonna walk there. I should have just walked there in general. Like it's not that far. I just thought I could get a parking spot, but your girl could not. So I'm just gonna randomly park in this spot. Oh. No, when I tell you, I literally couldn't even park in the public's parking lot. So now I'm back to right where I started. Like literally right next to where I park on campus. So here's where we risk it. Do we go back and park? Or didn't it? I am manifesting there's going to be a parking spot available. I'm just going to, you know, pray for the best. It's not even that far. Like, what is going on? Y'all, this is the moment of truth. We are about to be, like, where the parking spots could be. Oh, my God. It's so bright. What do you think? Do you think we're going to be able to find a spot? I don't even know if you can see me right now, given the lighting conditions. I think we're going to find one. If I can ever get by it's cool wait a second oh <gasps> hold on yep there's a parking spot there is a parking spot hey hey i almost just ran over this biker it's fine not really but we're fine okay let's go <laughs> have made it back home. Y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. This tastes suspicious. <laughs> I always get this every time I go. And normally it's like a purple color. This is like orange. And so then like they made it and whoever made it did. And then she kind of like looked around and then she just put the top on it. And she was like, here's like the gummy bear or whatever. And I was like, okay, like I didn't think anything of it. And then I tasted it and I was like, no, wait a minute. Wait, this ain't, this does not taste like my gummy bear deliciousness, but I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna drink it anyways because I paid like seven bucks for it, so. Anywho, I told y'all that I'm going to Taylor Swift this weekend and I'm really, really excited and Will just texted me and told me to take my time because apparently he wants to like clean his room before I come. I don't know. He is like so weird about that. Apparently, like before he met me, like he was like so dirty, such like, you know, the stereotypical like, oh, like he's like a stinky boy basically. But then when he knows I'm coming over, he's like, I have to clean my sheets. I have to make sure my laundry is done. I need a vacuum. I need to light a candle. It is so funny. Anywho, I'm mostly packed for Taylor Swift, but I do want to like straighten up my apartment a little bit since I do have some extra time. I don't feel like rushed to head out the door and I still have that school assignment to do today. So, oh, I went ahead and changed. <laughs> I was sweating so bad. I had to change everything. I was like, I cannot sit in my filth like this. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, my merch went live yesterday at 9 a.m. I don't know if we have some left, but if you want to go ahead and head on over to www.thelarnorris.com. This is one of the shirts and it's so cute. It has like a little sparkle. Then on the back, it says do it for your future self. We have another t-shirt design. We have two hats. We have cutie little mugs. And then also a tote bag. So if there's any left over, go ahead and grab you some because these things cannot be restocked. They're like just a one-time thing. It's just, I got like random quantity of stuff. So any hoozies, go ahead and shop. 
I think you're gonna start in the kitchen first because I had vases left over with flowers from my grad tea and not all the vases are mine. I do have to bring some of them back to Sheridan, Will's sister. So let's go ahead and like do the dishes and like try and straighten up the kitchen. Here's hoping this night I need to go ahead and start filming. Um, is that, is that comfy? <laughs> to you, baby L. What's going on over there? I mean, her paw is on the glass. What's going on over here? <laughs> hey, mama girl. Y'all, I thought I was recording this whole entire time. I was not. But I have baby L, and we are saying peace out. She's doing a lot better. Some of you know that she has been unwell. She still is, but we found a treatment plan. It's just going to take several months to know if she like is actually better and like she's taken to the medicine and everything. Anyways, not wanting to disclose too much of that right now. There's like this line on my face. Hold on. I'm just going to stand right here. Um, but we have finished out our last college day vlog which is so sad, so sad, but it's not my last college vlog or vlog ever. I've been getting so many comments and people being like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss you. Like bestie, I'm not, look, I'm not dying. I'm, I'm here, I'm okay. I'm still going to be creating content. It's just not going to be college content, but I am still vlogging my finals week and I'm vlogging my graduation day, getting ready for my graduation. And I'll still have like a couple of different college vlogs heading over or being posted in the next Oh my gosh, there's so many things happening right now. I still do have several other college vlogs going live within the next couple of weeks. So this isn't like the complete end. Um, this is just like the regular like college day in my life, which is so sad. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've made it to this part of the video, go ahead and comment the pencil emoji and then a pink emoji. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna join the family, click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.